all the students today we are going to study infrared waves or infrared light in the unguided media so what are infrared waves now the visible light that we see every day the light that is visible to us that we see on a daily basis is a small portion of the electromagnetic spectrum so the electromagnetic spectrum that we have this visible light is a very small portion of that electromagnetic spectrum so uh, if we look at the electromagnetic spectrum this is the electromagnetic uh, spectrum which has wavelengths in the range of 1 to 10 to the power 22 hertz so uh, Uh, these are various waves in the various spectrums of the wavelength like the radio waves infrared waves visible ultraviolet x rays gamma rays and all so the visible light that we see every day is a very small portion of this electromagnetic spectrum that you can see right and so is the infrared waves now the electromagnetic spectrum includes all kind of radiations that you just saw it consists of all kind of ra radiations within specific range like the radio waves the infrared waves the ultraviolet rays the x rays the gamma rays and also a portion of the visible light so visible light constitutes a portion of the entire electromagnetic spectrum it is a small portion of the electromagnetic spectrum so as you have seen now in the through the diagram that the electromagnetic spectrum includes all kinds of radiations which are ranging from the x rays which are used at hospitals you all are aware with x rays so at some point or the other all of us have must have got our x rays done so you all are aware of what x rays are so this x ray is also a part of the uh, <coughs> electromagnetic spectrum so that means the electromagnetic spectrum includes all kind of radiations which range from the x rays which are used at hospitals to the radio waves which we use for communication now radiations in the electromagnetic spectrum on a broad basis like if i broadly classify the radiations in the electromagnetic spectrum they can be uh, classified into two broad categories one is your short wavelength radiations and another is your longer wavelength radiations that means it's quite clear from the name itself that the radiations which have a shorter range of wavelength come in the category of short wavelength radiations and those uh, radiations which have a longer wavelength fall in the category of longer wavelength radiations so what are the short wavelength radiations the gamma rays the x rays and the ultraviolet rays are the short wavelength radiations or the radiations which have a short wavelength and these kind of radiations are highly dangerous and have high energy right i'm sorry they are not highly dangerous they have high energy and they are dangerous that is why in the x ray room usually pregnant ladies or small kids sometimes also infants are not allowed inside the x rays uh, rooms because they are they can be dangerous so Uh, such short wavelength radiations which include your gamma rays your x rays or your ultraviolet rays are high, of high energy and are dangerous and when we look at the longer wavelength radiations that means those wave radiations which have longer wavelength in the electromagnetic spectrum they are your radio waves your microwaves and your infrared rays they are less harmful as compared to the short wavelength radiation okay now the infrared waves which are also sometimes known as the infrared lights you can refer to them as infrared waves you can also refer to them as infrared light it is an electromagnetic radiation with the wavelengths longer than those of visible light so the wavelengths of the infrared rays are longer than the wavelengths of the visible light like here you can see the the, uh, the wavelength of the visible light is in this range this is the range of the wavelength of the visible light whereas this is the range of the wavelength of the 
infrared light or infrared waves so clearly it is longer than the wavelength of the visible light so for this reason it is undetectable by the human eye it cannot be detected easily by the human eye and most of the thermal radiations emitted by objects near room temperature that means if a thermal radiation is emitted by an object at or near room temperature then it can be considered as an infrared wave or an infrared light now they are also referred to as heat or thermal waves or electromagnetic waves so you can call them infrared lights or infrared waves you can call them as heat waves you can call them thermal waves or you can call them electromagnetic waves why because they have heat inducing properties hence you can also call them heat or thermal waves or electromagnetic waves as they form a part of the as they are a small portion of the electromagnetic spectrum now they are sometimes used in applications where heat production is required as i said that they induce heat so they are sometimes used in applications where the production of heat is required for example when you have infrared heaters in such case infrared light or infrared waves are used or for therapeutic purposes where you have to uh, uh, for therapeutic purposes where a patient requires some kind of therapy physical therapy right so these are the uses where they can be used at times now infrared waves can be classified into two broad categories right if in a broader uh, classification if i look at a broader classification of the infrared waves it can be divided into two uh, categories one is your near infrared and another is your far infrared okay so what are the basic applications of a near infrared light or a near infrared wave they can be used for tv remote the sensors that are used in tv remote used near infrared light and in photography and the far infrared waves are more thermal that is they are more heat inducing example anything that generates heat for example even human body at 37 degrees celsius in, in produces infrared waves okay so next let's look at the characteristics of the regions of an infrared like in various regions what are the characteristics of infrared broadly i said you can classify an infrared into near infrared and far infrared but if a more detailed classification of your infrared waves is to be looked at then it is into uh, five classifications it can be divided into five classifications one is your near infrared then your short wavelength infrared then your medium infrared then your long wavelength infrared and far infrared so let's start with the near infrared obviously the wavelength for the near infrared is between 0.7 to 1.4 micrometers where is it used it is used in fiber optics and medical field then the short wavelength infrared the wavelength of short wavelength infrared is between 1.4 to 3 micrometers and it is used in telecommunication mainly for military purposes then you have the medium infrared lights the medium infrared light or medium infrared waves have a wavelength ranging from 3 to 8 micrometers and they are used in chemical industries and astronomical purposes then you have the long wavelength infrared the wavelength of a long wavelength infrared wave is between 8 to 15 micrometers and it is used for astronomical telescopes and then at last you have the far infrared uh, uh, waves so the wavelength of the far infrared waves is between 15 to 1000 micrometers and they are used for the treatment of cancers so the infrared waves which are used in chemotherapy that are used 
for the treatment of cancer are the far infrared waves and their wavelength is between 15 to 1000 micrometers now one important property of infrared waves is that they do not pass through solid objects now this can be taken as an advantage of the infrared objects why because security against eavesdropping is better for example if you consider your tv remote so try standing between your tv remote control and your television and see if it works no it doesn't work right so this way the chances of eavesdropping are very less and it provides a better security against eavesdropping uh, so this means that if you have an infrared system in one room of a building it will not interfere with a similar system in the adjacent rooms or buildings right that is why you cannot control your neighbor's television with your remote control which is a good thing so this is all about infrared waves or infrared lights